heads high is our posture Against all odds, we gon' prosper We know our place in this world We gon' shine our lights till it hurts Stay in focus, we know our day coming Negative vibes, we escape from it We know our place in this world We gon' shine our lights till it hurts What's good? What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Urban Platform Speaks. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe as you come into, you know, the, in the, into the channel and, and check out, you know, the content. Uh, now, today, I, I want to speak on, on, on J.J. Reddick. J.J. Reddick just gave a pre press conference, and in a press conference, um, I think he said some things that kind of you know, that kind of just makes him lose credibility because when, when, when you're talking to the the press or the media or, or fans, you, you know, I understand that you have to put your spin and, and, and your take on things. Um, you don't want to say anything disparaging about, you know, your own team or, or, or the players on your team, but you got to find like a middle ground. You got to be able to do that without, really just like having the people your fans and the press just think that you you know you just straight up not being honest with them and one of the things i think that uh jj reddick you know what is, is is making him lose his credibility is the fact that he said in the in the press conference that that uh that they didn't give ronnie james anything and you know, almost like there was like no uh no nepotism, you know, like like Bronny earned and, and that's what he said, like Bronny earned everything that he's getting from the Lakers. And and everybody know that, you know, everybody know that that's not true. You know, um, if if it's nepotism, you know, he don't have to come right out and say it's nepotism, but we all just know that it, you know. Like he wouldn't be able to get a as a second round ball player, Bronny James wouldn't be able to get, you know, uh two years guarantee. You know, a, a lot of times, you know, a lot of times second round ball players get sent to the G League. You know, and um they and sometimes, you know, a second round ball player is not even expected to make the team. But when when you as JJ Redder come out and say that uh you know, we didn't give him, give Bronny James anything. He earned everything that he's getting. Uh, we, you know, we we just don't, uh, you know, people really don't appreciate that. Um, so, and like I said, Bronny James has a, uh, you know, he's got a two-year guaranteed contract. And for somebody to be in a second round and get two years uh, guaranteed, you know, that's, that's it's not unheard of. You know, that happens from time to time. But in this situation, everybody know that, you know, after the season that Bronny James had at USC, where he averaged around like five points, you know, a lot of time, you know, people really don't feel like if it wasn't for his father that he, Bronny James wouldn't even be in the league. You know, uh, if the Lakers hadn't taken him, you know, nobody else really, pro you know, nobody else would have picked uh, Bronny James up, um, you know, so, and, and that's not to say that I don't think, you know, like Bronny James, he has an opportunity to play at this, this level. So now that he's there, hopefully he will just make, uh, you know, just make the best of his situation. Um, you know, he'll have the opportunity to play against NBA talent and practice against NBA talent. And that I'm sure, you know, to play and practice against those kind of guys that will raise his level of, uh, you know, his performance level and just really just take advantage of that situation. Now it's basically up to Bronny to, uh, to you know, to, to, to make it so he can stick. But to say that, you know, he wasn't given anything, I think it's, it's a little bit uh, disingenuous. Is it, it really don't make you look. And then on top of that, like when you, if the players in your locker room don't feel like you're being honest or that you can be honest, then that's going to really hurt his credibility as a coach. So you want to be careful with, with situations like that and make sure that he is, uh, 
you know, like he, he's, he, he protect that his, his credibility, because as a coach, if you don't have any credibility, it's very easy to lose the locker room. And, uh, you know, that, that's something that he don't want, especially, you know, this is his first coaching job. He don't want this to, uh, you know, he want to get off on the right foot. So with that being said, man, I ask you to like and subscribe to the channel. Also, uh, go to my uh, go to urbanplatformfashion.com. Check out the merch. We have hoodies, long sleeve T-shirts, and we have short sleeve T-shirts. So, um, yeah, definitely go and check out the merch and uh, continue to support the channel. Also, leave a comment. You know, keep, leave a comment below and let me know if you saw the JJ Reddick press conference. Let me know what you what you thought about it. Did you think that he he kind of went overboard, you know, uh, and, and and said some things that wasn't exactly true? And so, you know, I'm looking forward to the comments. Leave a comment below, and uh, I'll check you all out on the next episode.